Tatus Maximus here. Kind of a long day. I was originally just going to do a review of this PT Tools 5 8 uh, five inch long spark plug socket, but decided to change this video into six spark plug sockets that will allow you to get into any place. This happens to be three H drive sockets with uh, five eighths, four five eighths size spark plugs. Of course, you can do your work and find this style sockets as well in half inch drive. There's of course spline drive. This also happens to be a 13 16 There's the ubiquitous 14 millimeter 12.1s, which are like early Boston minis would use. There's also the 18 millimeter ones. And then of course, there's the other ubiquitous size, the 916. So really the 18 and the 916, I believe are portable, uh, you know, small engines by may be incorrect. So there's actually a variety of sizes of spark plug sockets. Of course, a standard 3 8 inch spark plug socket would be in uh, like a six point. So you have better grip. Although of course you can get them in 12 point, two and a half inches long. Then you have uh, a universal joint integrated spark plug socket, like three and a quarter inches long. When you're using uh, universal sockets, at least this style, they're not quite as strong and they do work uh, more easily when you're using them with a uh, straight ratchet than when using them with, say, a flex head. And obviously a long handle flex head with many of these sockets, you can pretty much get anywhere, just a handful of sockets. Then what we have here is a Gray's pneumatic. I don't get many Gray's pneumatic tools, um, but this is pretty interesting. It's a double, it's an impact double pin drive integrated. So we have two universal joints with these types of uh, pin drive impacts. You only get 30 degrees. So with two of them, you actually get 60 degrees of angle. Getting into Subarus and that type of thing are just amazing because the pin drive uh, is constant velocity. So you uh, can put tension on it and it doesn't bind up and it turns smoothly, which is of course one of the issues with a standard universal is that the two drive pins are offset. So if you get too much angle, it kind of wants to wobble and rock back and forth and makes it a little bit more difficult. So of course, the double universal uh, pin drive socket really can uh, save you in a variety of situations. And this one's just a little bit short of five inches. Then of course we have the long socket, which is uh, in this case a PT, which uh, actually surprisingly well-made socket, pretty heavy. And then this just ends up being five inches, so it gives you a little bit more length and you don't have to deal with uh, an extension. Then there are integrated uh, type extension universal sockets. So this is a non-impact, but it's still a pin drive, so you get that smooth, constant velocity action. So this happens to be eight inches long overall length. And so it's like a universal socket on an extension, definitely pretty handy. And then there's, of course, the ultra long sockets. This is a 10 inch socket. This one happens to be, uh, I believe, a CTA. And this is just an absolute beast. You can just reach down so many of those cylinder heads these days, you have to reach down super far. And just having just a one single socket to work on those spark plugs, just excellent with a nice long ratchet and then some good knurling on it so you can twist out the spark plug, which we can see as is not quite standardized among spark plugs. It would be nice, or spark plug sockets, if they did have knurling. Then of course, at least the straight spark plug sockets, the reason they have hexes on them is for actually a variety of reasons. Some, many situations you may have to manually just get the socket onto the, uh, onto the spark plug, and then you may have to use a wrench, or it may be really stubborn and you're worried about the 3H drive. So this is, allows you to use a, like a half inch drive and just an external socket to drive it. And that's kind of the point of that. But since 5.8 is the most common size, here are these six sockets that really, you could just have a handful of sockets and a ratchet. And you're pretty much gonna be able to get at just about any spark plug that there is on just about any motor where they're reasonably accessible. Maybe a couple extensions to go along with this. And of course, the last thing to mention is many spark plug sockets. I don't know if we can see quite inside this one, but they just use a rubberized boot. So sometimes the socket will get stuck on the spark plug, uh, which is always kind of an annoying situation, especially if you don't have locking extensions and you're getting the spark plug in there and the socket stays in there or stuck to the spark plugs. So that's one of the advantages of having these longer ones is then you're just able to pull the spark plug uh, socket right off. This PT happens to be uh, a rubberized boot. Actually, I even think the Gray's pneumatic is. But nicer ones will use uh, rare earth magnets inside, and so they provide a good amount of holding power, but not so much that the socket wants to get stuck on the plug. Anyway, my little video on uh, the six 
sock plug, six spark plug sockets that'll allow you to get in the end just about any spark plug with a whole lot less hassle than, you know, figuring out different types of universal joints and extension combinations. You can just grab these and one of them will inevitably work. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been subscribing and supporting the Caddis Maximus channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.